Hi and welcome into this tutorial on how to set up the brain unit. First of all I encourage you to use a Bluetooth module. Look at the description for more details. I'm using a Cryos module combined with the NSH data cable. The first thing you have to do is setting up your transmitter. Set to helicopter model. Rename it. Set the swash plate type to one servo and enable auto rotation switch. This is basically all you have to do with the transmitter right now. If you have Bluetooth module, plug it to the brain unit and then connect it to your computer. Open the brain app. Go into, file. And choose, configure Bluetooth module. Set a password and a name then press OK. You are done. You can now use your phone or tablet to configure your unit. That will be really more easy when you will go to the field later. Go to step 2 and choose your receiver. If you are using Spectrum SAT, check the bind checkbox then power off and restart the brain using the bind procedure of your transmitter. Transmitter on, go to step 4. This is where you will set the endpoints. Go into your transmitter and set the endpoints to all your channels until you reach 100% in the app. Except on gain where you have to set 45%. On my DX8 I had to invert the O2. By this way, I have set up 1 to the upper switch position. And set up 3 to the lower one. Go to step 5 and set the refresh frequencies of your servos. You can generally find them on constructor website. Go to step 6 and choose your swash plate type. Step 7. Click reverse until you have all your servos on the right way. If you have problems during that process, you can invert channels in your transmitter. Serve 1, 2 and 3 are for leveling your swash plate. So increase or decrease values until your swash is leveled. Your throttle stick should be at middle position. When your swash is leveled, check the blade's angle. You have to have 0 degree. If not, change the arm's length on the rotor head. When you have your zero degree, push throttle stick to the upper position and increase, or decrease pitch on the app, until you reach 12 degrees in positive and negative. If positive and negative are not symmetrical, go to advanced mode and go to servos. You can adjust by changing positive or negative throw on servo 1, 2 and 3. Once you have your symmetrical 12 degrees, you can pass to cyclic setup. Push the elevator switch to the upper position and then check your blade's angle. You have to have 10 degrees. Step 8. This is where you setting the tail. Check first if your tail blades move on the correct way. If not, click on reverse. Then, push rudder stick full right and press the plus button until it binds. Then press minus button one time. Repeat this operation for the left side. Don't use proportional gain with the software because it's more comfortable with the transmitter. Until you don't have tested and fine-tuned your tail gain on maiden flight, don't use per compensation. You will set this later. Step 9. Choose your module's position and press the set level. Auto level should be configured on the field. If you want to use it, don't try to take off with auto level. Before entering step 10, take off all the blades of your helicopter, then, switch off your transmitter and restart it with throttle stick to the upper position. The ESC will bip several times, and you can now push back the stick to the lower position. Your ESC is now calibrated. This process is for YG controllers. Once your controller is calibrated you can go to step 10. Remember. Blades off. First of all, set your gear ratio by using the calculator. Then set the sensing divisor. For example, the sensing divider for a 10 poles motor will be 5. Now you can set up your speeds.
Don't move gain right now. Go to the throttle tab and check electric. At the left of the slider, push the plus button until your motor arms. Then press minus button two or three times. Check the result by moving throttle stick. Motor must be off at lower stick position. If not, press minus button one more time and test it again. Now put the throttle stick full forward. Press the plus button until you heard the max speed of the motor. As we didn't change the throttle curve in the transmitter yet, the curves are still linear from 0 to 100%. We have to change that. Go to the throttle curves of your transmitter and set a flat curve of 30% on normal mode, 60% on idle 1 and 100% on idle 2. You can now test the three speeds. Go into step 11 and select your model size. Step 12. Check the governor checkbox on each setup. The other settings on this step are quite personal. It depends of your skills and your needs. For the maiden flight, you can set beginner, sport, and 3D. That's a good starting point. Go to step 13 and check if the compensations are correct. If not you probably miss something at the step 9. You are now ready for your maiden flight. I will do a second video for advanced settings. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Stay safe, and fly hard.